You go down the stone steps until you're greeted face to face with this twisted, gnarled abomination. The monstrous form of the creature that you've been hunting for days. It looks in your direction and says, Welcome! <laughs> Welcome guys, hey, I'm Sebastian and welcome to Atmosphere, your place for creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role-playing games. In this episode, I'm going to be looking at creating some more monstrous presents to your abominations, your ghosts, your beasts, your ogres, your demons in your game room with some enhanced audio effects. Uh, something I've been wanting to do for quite a while and it wasn't until a few uh, nights ago that a few things kind of clicked tools and tech wise going to help make this a little bit more of a reality for in the game room type of things. Now a lot of things I'm going to show in this episode will work for like an online or live stream type setup but this is really kind of targeted at your own game rooms or around the game table so let's get into it and I'll show you how it all kind of comes together. Uh, I'll put links in the description to any of the tools and tech that I'm using for this video so let's go take a look. So the voice modulation software that we're going to be using is called Voice Mod, and basically I became aware of it by searching the Stream Deck store uh, just to see what was kind of available for this type of thing. There are different variety of softwares that you can get, but I found that this one had more of a native integration with the Stream Deck. Uh, if you don't have the Stream Deck, do you can use regular old keyboard shortcuts to fire off these different kind of sound effects but uh, I have found that it is a little bit more user friendly on the Stream Deck, but not impossible if you don't have a Stream Deck of your own. There is a subscription kind of model that you have to kind of subscribe to, but they do have a pro license that you can do a one-off purchase and every now and then that goes on sale. We'll hop back into this app once we get our microphone and speakers plugged in. So the speakers I'm going to be using in this voice modulation are going to be a little bit different to what I normally use for my sound in the game room. Normally I use a Bluetooth sound system, but I was noticing that with the voice modulation there was a little bit of latency and lag with some of the signal. Now normally for music and ambience this isn't so much of an issue, however with voice modulation those little bit of milliseconds can create a little bit of a disorientation with some of the performance. So to get around that I recommend using some wired speakers, here I'm just using some computer speakers, but you can use other kinds of wired sound systems. Then it's just about going into the voice mod app and setting what audio device you want the voice modulation to come out of. So the last piece of the puzzle in this setup is really the microphone that's going to be used. So normally with a table type of microphone, it's going to pick up whatever's coming out of those speakers and create this nasty sound loop. In voice mod, there is a reduced background setting but that can also be known to kind of add a little bit of latency to things too. So to get around that issue, to get around the echo issue uh, and the latency issue, I got one of these little throat mics. Now, usually these are used for tactical paintball type thing. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the one I found that works pretty well. But usually it, it looks like it's got these little microphones that are very close proximity to the throat. So it's only gonna pick up what's right there. So to make it work, just kind of put it on if you're bashful about it, you could put a turtleneck on to try and, try and hide it. But now this microphone's not going to pick up anything that's coming out of the speakers. Which means you don't have to have the background filter turned on for any kind of echo cancellation type things. You're going to save a little bit on that lag and latency. Uh, and so you can reposition these speakers wherever you want. So. Now that these are on, it's just going into voice mod and setting that is the microphone you want to use for your voice modulation. All right, so just to review, we've got the speakers plugged in with a wired connection just to reduce that latency. We've got the throat mic here to uh, connect that to that audio sound directly to eliminate any kind of echo happening. And we've got the voice mod software as well with those speakers and microphones set as the input and output for that voice modulation. guy
Well, I hope you found it inspiring for creating some more monster presence in your game room with some enhanced audio effects. I know I'll personally get some use out of it in the game room, so I'm curious about your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked that video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you to my amazing supporters on Patreon with a special shout out to Chris Andrus, Luke Mansberger, John A. Johnson and Charisma On Command. Thank you so much for your support and if you want to join the Discord community, you can join via our Patreon link in the description or join via our channel memberships. Until next time, I'm Sebastian and let's create an Inspire. <laughs>